Hey guys, it's the IT guy CJ, and I'm here today to show you how to install Proxmox VE. So as you see, Proxmox is a complete open source platform for enterprise virtualization. Basically, it lets you run VMs, containers, storage, networking, clustering, and out-of-the-box tools in a single solution. So we're going to go up to the top and go to Downloads. Proxmox VE, ISO Images, Download. So that's downloading, and as you see, it may take a few minutes, but I already have it downloaded. So we could just cancel out of this. Okay, next, what we'll need to do is download Ventoy. All right, and so what this is is a tool that allows you to create a bootable USB drive for ISO uh, images, WIM images, uh, IMG images, VHDs, uh, all those, and they can be directly bootable. So you don't have to dedicate an entire drive for just one ISO image. And you see it has 1,100 images tested, and Proxmox is one of those. So we'll go to Downloads. And we'll download the windows.zip. It'll send you to their GitHub page. Scroll down and we'll download this. As you see, I've also downloaded it as well. All right, so now I'll show you how to add everything. And as you see, I've just pulled the Ventoy and Proxmox downloads to my desktop. So first we're gonna unzip this. And I'll also, while that's going, go ahead and plug in my USB drive. Now the Proxmox ISO is only a little over a gigabyte. So you can have something as small as a two gig flash drive and it'll work just fine. All right, but I have a 64 gigabyte flash drive uh, in here now just happen to have that all right so we'll open up that extracted folder go to Ventoy uh, Ventoy 1091 and then we'll click Ventoy to disk all right so I have already done this before we're going to clear. So what I'll do is I'll just clear Ventoy. Let's start it fresh. All right. So you've never used it before. This is how it'll look. All right. So you want to pick the drive. This one is just the only one in there. Ventoy package version and so you want to install it so what it'll do is create two partitions one with Ventoy another one for you to drop your ISOs on but the one with Ventoy you won't even see that one so all we need to do is once it's done we can close out we can go to our Ventoy drive and you see no files here and all we need to do is drop our Proxmox ISO right on there. All right, now that that's done, let's go install Proxmox on my test server. All right, I'm in the process of booting up my server now. And I say server, but it's really an old desktop that I used as a test lab. All right, so I plugged my USB drive in to one of the front USB ports. And let's try Legacy Boot. You want to choose your ISO 
Then you want to boot into normal mode. Install Proxmox VE. And we'll just wait for the configuration. And we'll just wait for the configuration page to come up. All right, here we are at the EULA. Of course, we'll agree to everything. And we want to install it. I only have a single drive in here. So there's my 480 gigabyte SSD and the 64 gig flash drive. We'll just keep it on the SSD. Country, United States. And I will pick my time zone. password so just make it something that you can remember because this is the root password to do any changes onto the server and to log into the admin panel all right put in your email address for alerts All right, so now we're gonna pick a host name. So for me, I'll just put PVE DC1 for data center one. Now I may have this in a cluster at a later point, so might as well go ahead and identify it now. All right, for the IP address, it grabbed 160 from DHCP. I'm just going to leave it as is, but my production Proxmox server will have a static IP address. And default gateway, DNS, all of it's correct. Next. Uh, all the settings are correct under the summary. And we'll have it reboot after installation. So we'll just hit install. And we'll be waiting. So I'll see you guys once it's done. All right, guys, and we're at the login screen. So we can run updates from here or we can use the web console to do any of our edits and configurations, adding VMs, containers, and anything like that. All right, so now we'll go to the web page. Don't forget that port. And because this is a self-signed certificate, the browser will say that it is unsafe. But it's fine. It's just, it is SSL. It's just not uh, protected by a public certificate authority. Put in your username and password. Log in. We see a no valid subscription message. Don't worry, we'll get rid of that at a later point. Click OK. And there you are. Proxmox installed. Using very few resources. All right, guys. So that's all it takes to install Proxmox VE. So over the next a uh, few weeks I'll be adding videos of uh, different tweaks and different things that you can do to adjust your Proxmox installation pro for the better. And also some of my projects will be installed here on Proxmox instead of using Linode all of the time. I know a lot of times you want to deploy something at home. So I'm going to start showing you guys how to deploy certain services and applications on your Proxmox installation at home. All right, guys. Well, that was a video from the IT guy CJ, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.